for me, it's just like, it's pretty straightforward. It's for, for people to understand, it's like, in within the black community, when I do something like cool, that they respect, then a lot of people refer to me as black. Mm. But if I do something that they don't deem to be like cool or respectable as a black person, then they say, oh, he's not black anyway. See what I'm saying? So they'll just toss me between whichever suits them at the time, yeah. which for me, I just, obviously I hate that. I'm just mixed race. It's that, like I'm not black or white, I'm mixed race. I'm seen as black, I'm brown, definitely I embrace that, yeah. but I'm mixed race. Half of my family are white, Welsh, you know what I'm saying? Welsh yeah. and English and half my family are from Trinidad. So I, I live both heritages and I feel like when I was younger, um, a lot of the crowds would be like, oh, he's not as hard as us because he's not as dark as us and or he's not as willing to do X, Y, Z with us because he's not as dark as us. And then the other crowd is like, oh, he's a bit too dark to hang out with us. Like, so it's just, you're just in this limbo. Mm. And subconsciously, my friends group ended up being all mixed race people, which I didn't actually build it like that. It just happened. I literally didn't build it like that, but it just happened, didn't it? Literally like my best friend growing up was mixed race. Obviously all three of my brothers are mixed race. Like I'm hanging out, I'm doing collabs with Jay Critch. Is, it's so funny because that guy is from New York and he's from Trinidad as well. And yeah, he's like yeah. the American version yeah, of literally. me. He's tall and yeah, it's mad. It's mad. So it just happens. It's not on purpose. It just happens, isn't it? Yeah, yeah.